up guys, Zach with Wire Customs, and today I'm going to show you how to do a juice brake conversion on your Model A Ford. Now juice brakes, that's just a traditional term for hydraulic brakes. Um, obviously these came with mechanical brakes originally. Um, it was all the way until about 1938 when juice brakes actually started getting popular in Fords. There's a bunch of different parts you can get to get juice brakes on your Model A. Um, you can buy brand new parts, you can buy them off a Speedway website. What I'm going to use is the backing plate, the hub, brand new wheel bearings, and the spindle off of a 1939 car. Um, there's various years that you can actually use if you want to go traditional and use original parts. I'll throw those up on the screen for you so you can do a little digging and investigation. And this is actually a pretty easy upgrade as long as it's easy to get the kingpins out of the straight axle. So let's get started. So we're going to start with moving the hub off the spindle. It's really easy. Um, we're going to take off this nut right here on the end of the spindle. The whole hub's going to come off after that. So now the hub's going to come off. And we can pull our wheel bearing out. Stuck a little bit. Next, we have this actuating arm right here for the mechanical brakes. We need to get this actuating arm off out from our kingpin so we can pull the kingpin out and take the, uh, the whole spindle off. Oops. Okay so now that's loose I'm going to take my kingpin retainer out here. That's going to allow the kingpin to spin and I'll be able to get this actuator off a little bit better. Now what I want to do is unthread this, tap it, unthread it, tap it because we don't ever want to hit on threads. If you leave the nut on, um, it's going to save the threads. There's our little kingpin retainer. Save that for a rainy day. Now you can see that the, the kingpin will spin freely because it's ready to come out itself. So that's the kingpin on a Model A. Kingpin on a Model A holds the actuator right there. So now that Everything is disconnected. We can turn this out a lot more. And I'm gonna to get to these backing plate nuts here. Take all these backing plate nuts off. The backing plate's gonna get out of the way. Kingpin will pull right up. Now our backing plate's ready to come off. Okay, so now the only thing that's gonna be holding the backing plate on is the mechanical rod that goes down to the bottom here. So, just might wanna push it up back into the kingpin just so you can get the backing plate off. Or I can just pull the kingpin out and we'll get rid of that rod. So here's the kingpin. Here's a rod that's stuck. There we go. Backing plate came off. Here's our actuating rod. Of course that's not the textbook's name for everything, but that's basically what it does. It's all brake actuating uh, connectors. So. Um, what I have left is just a spindle. We can wiggle that off like that. And that's the teardown of the Model A uh, mechanical brakes. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the hub that uh, holds mechanical brakes for a hub that holds hydraulic brakes. So this is my 39 spindle. Um, it goes on just about the same way except for it's going to have spindle bearings to help keep the weight off of just um, metal on metal. Give it some little roller bearings to help turn them get my spindle ready. Now on 39 they are side specific so this side with the double is a uh, passenger side the one with the single is a driver side because it's a push from the box. Okay so this is going to slide on here pretty easy. Now the weight of the car is going to go on the bearing. 
So when this pushes up, you want it to be a pushing against the bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bearing in. Slide this in here. And yes, this is the old bearing. Um, I got a new one to order. I just don't want to wait to keep the car from rolling. So now on the top here, we're going to have a washer that's going to hold this felt in. So let's put this washer on. Now this felt, that just keeps the grease um, from dirt getting into the grease when it goes back down, okay? Go ahead and slide this through. And this keeper right here is gonna go towards the inside of the axle. So make sure you spin it so the keeper notch is inside the axle. It's kind of a pain to line that up after the fact. So I want it to line it up as soon as it goes straight down in there. Okay, there's that. I should slide in pretty easily. A little tap if need be. You have to hit it too hard, it's not lined up and you're messing up your kingpin. So, don't whack the crap out of it. Put my little retainer nut back on. Now this is just as simple as putting the backing plate and the hub back on, as if you were taking it apart on the Model A. So here's my backing plate for the 39. I want you to look at that. Look how easy it was to add juice brakes to the front end of a Model A. Very simple. Not a lot going on here. All we did was just replace the spindle, new backing plate. So let's go ahead, throw on the brake shoes, get them adjusted so we can get the hub on and get a good look at a badass Y5 uh, rim. All right, so a lot more time has passed since I've started this video, but that allows me to give you a lot more thorough of explanation. So the front brakes are done, all my lines are ran, the rear brakes are done. This is a running driving car right now. So now I can actually explain to you what all I did the entire process for the rest of the way. So I ran my brake lines inside the frame here and drilled a hole underneath my motor mount to uh, make my rubber lines. Now I did get originally 39, 1939 Ford lines. They were too short. So I just made, I had a friend of mine made these lines from scratch. Um, so I recommend getting the length and depending on what lines you run, what hard lines you run, you should know what your threads and everything are. These are banjo fittings. These are 39 Ford banjo fittings. So that's what that looks like on the original Model A axle. And that's how I incorporated my steering to these backing plates. So that's the only speedway part I have on this old car. Uh, I tried really, really hard to not use any speedway parts at all. So I think that turned out pretty well. Now on the back, you can give me a hard time for doing it this way, but I've actually seen it done this way quite a few times. Um, I had the 39 backing plates bolted up to the Model A rear axle. Uh, I don't plan on keeping the Model A rear axle, but it will work with this setup. Now the spring perches, or um, the little perches for the shocks, for the knee shocks on this, doesn't clear uh, the, the wheel cylinder. So what I did was I put the backing plate on upside down and there's a bunch of clearance on the bottom and you'd think this would be a bleeding issue, but we bled it and bled it and bled it. We got all the air out of it. This car will lock up all four tires at the exact same time. What more could you ask for than that? So it works really well. It's simple. The bolt pattern for the Model A was the same uh, uh, as the backing plate as the bolt pattern on the 39 Ford. Um, that's probably the case on a lot of the other years. I haven't done every single year on a Model A, so if you've done a different year on a Model A, post it in the comments to help other people who are watching this video um, just get more knowledge. So I wanted to build my car as traditional as possible as if it was uh, a hot rod built from the junkyard parts in the 50s. That was my goal. I wanted some guys who came back from World War II and they wanted a hot rod, and they made a hot rod out of their, out of their old cars that they had. So um, I had this K member, and I cut it out of a 39 Ford. That's how I got my brakes. Um, that's how I got my clutch. That's how I got my linkage, my transmission mount. So that's how everything is, is welded in here, and that's how I'm using the brakes side of it, and that's what I want to focus on. So that's how everything is in here working as if it was a 39 car. That allowed me to put my brakes, my master cylinder, my clutch all in the same area as if it was a 39 car. 
Um, the pedals are a little tall. My feet are up in the air, they're not on the floor, but on a Model A, just how comfortable are you driving a, a hot rod Model A, really? They're so small and condensed, so um, I'm making that work. It actually isn't too terrible. It's, it's actually mildly comfortable. So that's how my brakes are set up on this. Uh, I am using a single reservoir master cylinder. Um, I would obviously recommend you to use a dual reservoir master cylinder. I plan on upgrading that eventually. That's what I just had laying around. I literally built this whole car in 28 days. So some of this stuff is just for now uh, and I'll tweak it better. But this gives you a good idea of how you could do the brakes on your car. Make sure you check out Old Yankee Speed. Uh, Millworks Hot Rods, they sell Old Yankee Speed parts and they actually have setups for you that you can buy weld into your frame to give you pedals. You can actually use the original mechanical brakes. So I just want you to know your options. So look that up and uh, see if that's gonna work for you. But this is what I did for mine. It's working really good. It's stopping really good. What more could you ask for? If you like my video, just give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it to somebody you think uh, could use this information. But for now, get off YouTube and get your shift together.